Welcome to the second episode in our Health Promotion and Education series. Today we are going to look at a very important aspect of promoting health and that is exercise. And before we go any further, we would love to mention that we are working with the New START framework. New START is actually an acronym which stands for Nutrition, exercise, water, sunlight, temperance, air, rest, and trusting in God. The Bible tells us that trust in the Lord with all your heart, in all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your path. So if you want to walk a new path, to start afresh in your health, trust in God. So as you might be aware, exercise has a profound impact in the overall well-being of every human being. And we all know that exercise promotes good blood circulation. It activates your appetite, strengthens your immune system and physique, and all such obvious benefits that come with uh, exercising our bodies. But it is very important to realize that you might actually be exercising to do your body a wrong service. Actually, it is not necessarily the amount of exercise that you do that matters, but how well you do it. So in other words, you need to make sure that your exercise is adapted to your individual capacity and makeup. When you go to the Bible, in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31, there's a very clear guideline there that whatsoever you do, whether you drink or you eat, or in everything that you do, do it to the glory of God. So, did you know that it is possible to and glorify God through our exercises, you are exercising every day and yet you are not glorifying God because you are doing a wrong exercise for your biological makeup. I've been too wondered why some people would go to the gym year in, year out, but they look the same. Maybe they have been doing a wrong exercise. So as much as we appreciate that in all days of our lives we need to be exercising, especially in this cold season, it's important that you understand which exercise is good enough for you. And now we are going to look at this one from the context of the blood grouping. We have type O, type A, type B, and AB. Did you know that each blood type has its own type of exercise? Today we are going to share this. Let's start with type O. So type O, like other blood groups, is divided into two subcategories. There's O positive and O negative. 
if you want to understand all these sub classifications or subcategories please don't forget to visit the nearest clinic nearby you and in fact i would love to encourage all of you to go and get to know your blood groups i am b plus others might be b negative yes so i'm speaking as someone who's already done that so make sure that you get to know your blood grouping because it's going to help you to sort out so many things in terms of diet and how you can control yourself and calm down yourself and even engage in various exercises so for type o in general type o is a blood group that is capable of very intense exercise now what are some of these intense exercises that uh, you might be aware of i'm sure you will not forget weightlifting swimming jogging cycling step workouts and all such exercises that involve a lot of um, aerobic engagement so these are the exercises that you must be doing don't go and do other exercises they may not actually benefit you if they are not intense enough because your blood group supports the intense types of activities but you find that there are other blood groups that come into the O group and you find that after doing that you become so stressed up so tired because it is not the right exercise for you so if you're in O I mentioned the categories of uh, exercises that you can engage yourself in weightlifting jogging uh, step workouts cycling even swimming all those require a lot of use of energy so if you see people in the gym lifting heavy things and they're okay with it you can almost guess but it's always important to go to the clinic and have your blood slides so that you're tested so oh, you are positive or are negative in the all group it's very important to know that because it will help you to reposition yourself uh, in as far as uh, promoting your own health is Concerned and don't forget to tell others to do the same find out what your blood group is because it has a profound influence in your well-being Let's look at another blood group that is type a Unlike type O which can withstand very physically engaging activities type a doesn't like that why because it produces a lot of stress hormones which are going to leave you very stressed up fatigued and very tired so you may find yourself that let's say you're in a gym you're lifting the same weight and you find that you'll be more tired than someone who is in the all group and the all group will benefit more from that than yourself as a group so make sure that you understand that you don't deserve to go into the stressful kind of workouts you need instead calming exercises relaxation kind of exercises now what are some of these number one you may take a light swim number number two you may do the breathing exercise number three take a health walk and the best time to do a health walk is in the morning why because the, the air is still very fresh, very cool, and it has a uh, very good supply of oxygen, very rich and uncontaminated, and, and it's going to uh, fight against the free radicals. If you do the exercise in the morning of walking, you get very rich air that is going to help you to fight against the free radicals. And then the other one is meditation. You can meditate. Meditate. Stretch ups also are quite very good for your blood group. Don't try things that are going to strain you up. I'm pretty sure that you have seen people who go to the gym year in, year out, they look the same. They look the same. Why? Because they are doing the wrong exercise for their blood group. So don't go beyond what your grouping prescribes. Then you'll see that instead of causing harm to your body you're going to benefit don't engage in an exercise that is going to do you more harm 
than good. So if you're in A, know that your category is light kind of exercise, relaxation kind of exercise, calming kind of exercise. So if you, you want to know more about the relaxation exercises, please visit the physiotherapist nearby you and get to know what are some of the other types of uh, light exercises that can an A group can engage in that would really really be very beneficial. And don't forget to share this information with your neighbor. Let them know that if they're in A group, they must really not engage themselves in stressful kind of exercise. So in this cold season, I'm pretty sure that you have seen so many people doing exercise every morning. The road is packed up. But you might be asking yourself, is this the right exercise for this person? So get to know that even jogging may not be, uh, intense jogging may not be good for you if you're in A because it is a very highly uh, aerobic kind of exercise and it may end up stressing you. Let's look at the B group where I belong myself. The B group is a kind of balanced kind of uh, a blood group but it requires something slightly moderate than what you find in the O group. Yes, the B group can engage in activities such as uh, swimming, uh, cycling, and then light weight lifting. Don't go into heavy things that are going to stress you, but you do moderately and you're going to benefit. Everything must be moderate when you are in the B group. That's the idea. So don't go to the extremes. You will not benefit anything. So be moderate. That way you're going to benefit a lot. So the highly recommended activities for or exercises for the big group number one, you can play some tennis at home. Um, you can do some step climbing. You can do some lightweight lifting. You can do that. It's also very good for you. And then you can do um, sit-ups, um, press-ups, and also some uh, step workouts. Those can do uh, great wonders as you uh, try to strengthen your, your body physique and your immune system through exercising. So don't engage in something that is on the extreme. Too light and too heavy, not good for the group so be moderate in all the exercises that you do so as for the a b type the a b type is very simple very simple formula in the sense that all you need is to combine what is in a and b and we said in a the a group does not like any stressful kind of activity but they do far much better in the relaxation categories of exercises and then we, when I talked about the big group I said they are on the moderate side so if you combine the light and moderate somewhere between light and moderate can do wonders for the AB group so some of those activities which were mentioned like for example breathing exercise deep breathing that's a good exercise for AB and then at the same time the AB can do the light weight lifting so it's kind of a mix of what is in a and what is in b so it's, it's advantageous because they're able to benefit from the two strengths so please those exercises that i mentioned in a and b are the ones which can work miracles for you so as you are exercising or considering exercising in this cold season and also Looking at the current crisis we are going through as, as not only as a nation, but the whole world, you need to be very careful which exercises you are engaging yourself in so that you get the maximum benefits to boost your immune system and your general well-being. I hope that you have enjoyed our today's presentation and please do consult the experts in the field of physiotherapy and I think the experts in the issues of blood science they will be able to give very very serious and expert knowledge and advice concerning how you need to exercise this is just meant for the sake of promoting health 
and education, which is highly recommended in the national health policy, that each one must be uh, an active stakeholder in promoting well-being and health at household level, community level, and all other individual levels. So it's very important that we all uh, grow up healthy because it's God's papers that we should be in good health and prosper. Thank you very much, and please don't forget to subscribe. Like the videos, subscribe so that next time we post something, you'll be able to receive the alert. Thank you very much, and God bless you abundantly.